Welcome to this tutorial video. In the previous video, I showed you how to use PBR materials in Instant Terra. Now I'm going to explain how to import your own textures and use them to create PBR materials. To create a PBR material, you need four textures. The first one is a base color texture, also known as diffuse texture or albedo texture. The second one is the roughness texture. Then we have the ambient occlusion texture. And the last one, which is very important, is the normal map. The easiest way to import them is to drag any of these four files and drop it onto the graph view of Instant Terra. Instant Terra automatically detects the other files and offers you to import all files at once. Here we go. Here is the base color texture the roughness texture, the ambient occlusion texture, and the normal map texture. Instant Terra automatically created a user submaterial node for me. One important option is the normal map format. There are two formats of normal maps, OpenGL and DirectX. Instant Terra uses OpenGL normal maps. If you import a DirectX normal map, Simply check the Invert Normal Map checkbox to convert it to the right format. Now let's create a Material node. And an Apply Material node. Depending on your textures, the tile effect will be more or less visible. There are several ways to minimize it. The first one is to activate the anti-tile option of the user submaterial node. The second one is to use several levels. When I use two levels, Instant Terra can display the submaterial with two different sizes. Instant Terra switches from one side to the other one when the distance between the terrain and the camera reaches this threshold distance. And you choose how soft or how hard the transition is. If you select three levels, you have three sizes and two threshold distances. Let's create a second layer. The material node can have up to eight layers, whereas the simple material is limited to four. You can mix your own submaterials with Instant Terra's submaterials. Create a submaterial node to use a predefined submaterial. You edit the layers of the material node the same way that you do with a simple material node, as I explained in the previous video. Here is my final terrain. Let's have a look at the material. I put two different rock layers. The first one is applied everywhere. The second one is applied only onto the steepest parts of the terrain. I also have two grass layers. I reduce the intensity of the second one so that there is a blend of the two grasses. And the last layer is the snow layer. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to go further with PBR materials in Instant Terra, you'll have to use the Advanced Material node. With this node, you can use masks, either computed masks, imported masks, or painted masks, to edit the layers of the material which offers you more possibilities. I will present this node in the next tutorial video.